Hello, fellow readers. Welcome back to The Reading Tiger. Today, we're diving deep into one of the most influential books of our time, Thinking, Fast and Slow by psychologist and Nobel laureate Daniel Kahneman. It's a journey into the very fabric of our minds, uncovering the dual processes that influence our every decision. Whether you've ever wondered why you made an impulsive choice or stood by a decision against all odds, this book has answers for you. Let's explore the essence of our thinking processes. Here's a detailed point-wise crux of the book. 1. Two systems of thinking. System 1. Automatic, fast, intuitive, and effortless. It's the kind of thinking we do when we drive, have a gut reaction, or recognize a face. System 2. Deliberative, slow, logical, and requires more effort. This system gets activated when we solve a math problem, evaluate choices, or fill out a tax form. 2. Law of least effort. People are naturally inclined to avoid effort, so we rely heavily on system 1. However, this can lead to cognitive biases. 3. Anchoring effect. Our decisions can be heavily influenced by irrelevant numbers or values. For instance, if a person first sees a high price on an item, they might perceive subsequent prices as being lower, even if they aren't a good deal. 4. Availability heuristic. We judge the likelihood of events based on how readily examples come to mind. For instance, if a plane crashes in recent news, we might overestimate the danger of flying. 5. Substitution. When faced with a difficult question, system 1 often substitutes it for an easier question. For instance, how happy are you with your life? Might be substituted with how happy are you today? 6. Endowment effect. We value things more just because we own them. For instance, we might value a mug more highly once we own it compared to how much we'd pay for it initially. 7. Prospect theory. People make decisions based on potential value relative to a reference point rather than absolute outcomes. Losses hurt more than gains please, which can lead to irrational decisions. 8. Hindsight bias. After an event has occurred, we see it as having been predictable, even when there was no way of predicting it. 9. Optimism bias. People often overestimate their future successes and underestimate potential problems, leading to overconfidence. 10. Planning fallacy. We tend to underestimate the time, costs, and risks of future actions and overestimate the benefits. 11. Sunk cost fallacy. People continue a behavior or endeavor because they have invested a lot of resources, time, money, effort, even if it's not in their best interest. 12. Expert intuition. Experts develop intuitive skills in their domain but can still be prone to biases. Not all intuitions are created equal. 13. Regression to the mean. Extreme cases or outliers tend to be followed by more typical cases. For instance, if a sports player has an exceptionally good game, their next game might be closer to their average performance. 14. Narrative fallacy. We create narratives to make sense of events, even when there's no true underlying story. 15. Base rate neglect. We tend to ignore general information and focus on specific cases. For example, one might ignore the overall safety record of a mode of transport based on a recent accident. 16. Theory-induced blindness. Once we've adopted a theory and fit it into our worldview, it becomes very difficult to see its flaws or consider alternatives. 17. Illusion of validity. We often trust our judgment and predictions even in the face of evidence that suggests we shouldn't. 18. Halo effect. Our overall impression of someone, good or bad, can influence our feelings and thoughts about their character or properties. And that, dear viewers, was our deep dive into the masterpiece that is thinking, fast, and slow. It challenges us to question our innate tendencies and cognitive biases, highlighting the dance between the intuitive system 1 and the logical system 2 in our minds. I highly recommend picking up a copy if you haven't yet. Understanding our minds is the first step to making better decisions in life. Thank you for joining the Reading Tiger today. If you enjoyed this breakdown, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, keep reading and stay curious.